Thank you for tuning in. To stay in touch with us, get your question answered, and connect with the community, join our Discord channel. Link is provided in the video description. Speak soon. Hello everyone. This is Leslie from the Crypto.com blockchain team. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how do we set up a testnet funnel with our one-click deployment on AWS. Let's get started. So first of all, just launch a virtual machine with a EC2. So now what do we have to do is just look up crypto.com and then we will find the one-click deployment image on the AWS marketplace. Select this one. All right, so there's actually a lot of different instant type that you can find in uh, AWS. Um, you can pick anyone you like, just make sure that it fulfills the minimum hardware requirement of joining the testnet. In our demonstration here, I will be using this m5a.large. Yep. So mostly we would just follow the default setting. However, don't forget to enable the um, public IP so that you can connect to your virtual machine. All right, default setting for storage. Also with this one. So for the connection part, just make sure that you have opened up this uh, 22 port for the SSH connection and also the 26656 for the Tendermin P2P connection. So now we are ready to launch this one. All right, so now you would have to uh, insert your uh, SSH key. In this demonstration, I've already inserted the key here and I'll just use my key. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, so we just started um, this virtual machine here. So the next step is once it is ready, so you can build the instant and get the IP so that you can connect to your um, uh, machine while SSH. Machine is ready, so I will be connecting while SSH. All right, cool. We got connected. So the next step is to go to the directory chain. So if we list everything here, then you can see uh, there's pretty much everything that we need. Especially, we will be using this uh, we config uh, script uh, to build the chain. So the command goes like this. All right, so it would ask you whether you want to remove the old data. I would just press yes here because well, I don't have any data on, on this node. So it would automatically starting the, the surface. Yep, so in the case that if you like to join the network as a validator, this is a very important key. So this is the consensus public key that you will need um, to in order to join as a validator later. So uh, you would like to save it. All right, so it would ask me for uh, something like a network ID. Um, all right, I just put my name. Yeah, so this one would ask me whether I would like to enable the uh, state sync. So the state sync is a very useful tool that uh, it bootstraps the entire syncing process. So um, it, it speed up everything. However, if you'd like to build a full node with complete data, uh, this is not suggested. However, if you just want to uh, run it as a validator, this is okay. It also asks you whether you want to open up this um, node for P2P gossip connection. I will just put yes here. All right, so actually we got everything done. And now I can just check the logs for um, uh, the chaming D. So in fact, everything is running at the back as a surface. So I can just check the log. All right, so you can see um, it is getting the block snapshot. So I'll just let it run for a little bit. And then you can see that while well, it is catching up with the latest blockchain data. So you can uh, take reference to the documentation and see how do we find the latest block height. Once this 
a full node is synced up with the latest block height, then you are good to go. And then you have a fully synced um, a full node. Thank you for tuning in. To stay in touch with us, get your question answered, and connect with the community, join our Discord channel. Link is provided in the video description. Speak soon.